hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today we are gonna start uh, the third topic of module 4 that is criteria for copyright what are the different criteria for copyright like how we discussed criteria for the uh, requirements for the patent in the previous uh, module similarly we are discussing criteria for copyrights in this module so what are what do you mean by criteria that means a requirement or you can say it can be uh, it has to meet so and so requirements or criteria or parameters to consider it as a, a copyright okay to qualify the for a copyright protection the work whatever the work it is it can be the uh, as we discussed in the previous class it can be your artistic work it can be your music can be your painting it can be your uh, movie okay motion video anything okay that has to be existing in the some physical form or it can be tangible form for example you are having the some of the uh, what you call um, nowadays uh, the virtual also it will come and nowadays we are having NFTs right uh, non-fungible uh, tokens which are coming from the blockchain technology like uh, from the concept of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency or the blockchain technology so even all these things also will act as will have uh, you know come under this thing even though they doesn't doesn't have any physical form they are tangible that means you they are we, they, we can able to uh, fix a value for them based on their uh, demand in the market <coughs> so first thing is what it has to be physical or tangible form next the duration of existence of a physical form may vary so duration can be very it can be very short period of time to many years short period of time means uh, as we discussed in the uh, in previous classes and all uh, the patent will be there for almost uh, 20 years that is fixed but whereas right copyright is uh, in introduction I explained you copyright can be for a very short time for example in uh, you have uh, movies uh, when the movies are releasing before movie release there will be uh, audio release movie audio release so this audio release will uh, where all the songs and all will be there so this particular what you say and I'm talking about especially the India okay and then uh, Hollywood and all they have have an album or they will make up a separate songs and they will be taking for some albums and all so usually in India and other parts and most of the uh, countries what happens before movie, movie there will be a song like imaginary songs and all will be there so these songs uh, are will have very short period of uh, copyright that after a movie release maybe within for 10 days or 15 days or in some exceptional cases it will go for a week or month or a two months but only short period of time this copyright will be there for only till then like when you start uploading your story when before that movie release with that song and uh, it might ask you the instagram might ask you or uh, the facebook might ask you it you know, like there is a message will pop up that this particular content has got a copyright issue so copyright content is there that is what the message you will get so that is why that is because that copyright is there only for the short period of time after the movie re release or you same song if you are uploading or uh, using the music same music then <coughs> you will not get that message why the reason is simple it was copyright was uh, uh, given only for a short period of time so virtually any form of expression which can be viewed or listened to is eligible to qualify as copyright for example if we can see something virtually like in screen or mobile phones or your electronic gadgets or you can listen like music okay and or digital uh, uh, what do you say uh, weaving means we are having under that it comes nfts where digital art is represented in the form of virtual so even that is also can be copyrighted okay so even hurriedly scribbled notes 
uh, for an impromptu speech for example in if any a without any preparation if you are writing uh, like a draft of a speech that is also considered for patentable material only thing is it should have some impact that's it the copyright work has to be expressed by the creator in his frame of the thought okay so creator has done something new based on his frame of the thought so in other words the work has to be original that is the author created it from the independent thinking void of duplication he is not just copying from somewhere but he has written it when with his own knowledge okay and without copying anyone's for example some of the movies dialogues are so famous right so if you are talking about the dark knight the joker's uh, dialogue why so silent or uh, those kind of dialogues and uh, maybe in if we come to indian cinema uh, we are having like a uh, uh yes like basanti in kutton ke samne mat naach or you can also uh, see this dialogue like uh, uh, gabbar singh dialogue like kitne aadmiya the so these all things are actually can be copyrighted because these are created by like independent thinking they are not a duplication or of a previous movies dialogues or something like that okay so these are point silly but they can be copyrighted okay this type of work is termed as original work of authorships okay so it may appear similar to already existing works but should not be the same okay that is what it makes difference from the patent in patent it it should not be similar also it can have some similarity but similar is not it should not similar similarity means one or two similarities are there but if you look at the bigger picture in patent it has to be very new whereas in copyright it doesn't have to be much new okay it can be almost similar also okay but still it can be uh, copyrighted okay so copyright will be given so now the original work may lack quality or a quantity okay now in the difference between patent and copyright is that in copyright even though if you doesn't have much quality or a quantity or in a say the creativity is not much but still there is something aesthetic merit or all these parameters if they are not there still it can pass the test of copyright table okay copyrightable work okay so in addition to the original bit originality of the work the copyright protection requires at least some creative effort on the part of the author okay so you are having all these things but it should not be completely creative it should be little bit different so that difference you will get it from a, even the at least small amount of effort should be required that creative effort should be there to get copyright so there is no minimum limit for the extension of the creativeness so it is a subjective matter it depends on the minimum minimum limit here it depends on the what kind of way, what situation you are dealing with for example the minimal level of creativity needed for copyright protection it depends on the judgment of the evaluator okay for example this adjudicated adjudicated means judged by the office of the registrar of a copyright it will be completely judged by this uh, this thing like i can't say what is the minimum creativity right how can you define minimum creativity that means okay at least this kind of this much of creativity should be there that cannot be defined but it will be decided by the the office of the registrar of the copyright when the copyright if want to uh, you know get the copyright for your work they will decide how creative this work whether at least our minimal creativity is required to pass copyright that will be decided by whom office of registrar of copyright so as an example made changing the dimensions of a book will not be you know will not give you the copyright okay you all one book is there it's already been published you are going to change the dimensions okay like it is in uh, imagine a4 size you are going for a3 a5 size definitely it is not going to get you the copyright now similarly an address book of alphabetically arranged telephone numbers okay so the current generation might not be knowing this but if you are a, a person who born in 90s or later uh, 80s and all you will be knowing that in every home there is to be a telephone book okay which is to have the address number names 
along with the phone numbers okay so that does not qualify co copyright protection here as it involves a straightforward alphabetical listing of a phone numbers rather than a creative selection of the listing right so here the listing is done alphabetically so there is no creativeness here understanding one of the example you cannot go for the copyright for this so minimal creativity should be there so that's it uh, about uh, the criteria for copyright next topic we are having the uh, ownership of copyright we'll discuss in the next class